Egyptian Social Structure by Mr. Amster. Before you begin, please make sure that you have a sharpened pencil or pen and a highlighter. Egyptian Social Structure. The Pharaoh was the supreme ruler, and he was thought to be like a god. His power would fluctuate, though, based on the Pharaoh. Some power Pharaohs were more powerful than others, just as we have some leaders that are more that are stronger than others. Different styles of ruling, different styles of teaching. Now the government officials carried out the orders of the pharaoh. If you recall from your daily life, they're mostly nobles and they have a very high quality of life. The priests, they are powerful as religion touched every piece of life. And in some cases, they would only respond, have to answer to the Pharaoh himself. They were in charge of the temples and the religious rituals. They dealt with death ceremonies on, and burial. Scribes. Scribes are writers, and they had to memorize hundreds of symbols. It took years of schooling. Soldiers. They served the upper class and provided security for towns and construction projects, and they spent their days training. Artisans. They were highly skilled, but in Egypt they had a very low social status. They were carpenters, metal workers, painters, sculptors, and stone carvers. Sadly, sometimes we still think of that today. But the, without these people, our society could not function. Peasants and slaves. This is by far the largest group. Now, most peasants worked the land, as did slaves, and they provided Egypt with a stable food supply. And many of them would work on the pharaoh's temples. Now, here is a key point to make. It was not slaves alone that would work the temple. It was considered to be a highly honorable job to do because you were building a temple for a god. Please take a moment and highlight the following. Hundreds of symbols. Religion touched every piece of life. Supreme ruler carried out orders of Pharaoh served upper class, highly skilled, low social status, largest group. The end.